It was glamour, glitz, smiles, a sense of the new. Seven years ago, as Obaiwari II arrived at Rukbota Hall to be formally presented with his staff of office as the 40th Obar of Benin before the public. <laughs> The high and the mighty were present, from the former vice president, Professor Yemir Simanjo, to the former governor of Edo State, to the then incoming governor, Noreyase Godwin Obaseki, parliamentarians, government officials, palace chiefs in all their formal attire and in their hierarchy. It was a momentous occasion which happens for many once in a lifetime. It was in their presence, upon being formally declared the Ober of Benin, that he gave out what his vision for the reign would be. Our responsibility from now on is daunting, but I am confident that with the blessing of God Almighty, the love and support of my family, my people, Nigerians in general, and my international friends in the international community, we shall succeed in this life mission of building upon the legacies of our Father. Now, what does the new dispensation hold for us? The Oba remains the channel through which the powers of the ancestors continue to guide and protect the kingdom and its people. Jesus! To that extent, we shall faithfully discharge this sacred responsibility. We shall pay due attention to all members of custom and tradition, focusing on real issues of security of our communities and the welfare and development of our people. We shall carry out reforms in palace administration in order to be adequately responsive to our people's sincere and deep longing for justice, equity, and stability. We shall strive. We shall strive to ensure that conflicts are resolved between individuals. And in a dogged and determined manner, the monarch has been a man of his words. He has smashed the infamous CDAs, which were a menace to rightful and peaceful ownership of lands. The reversal, of course, on the inglorious sponsorship to Europe through illegal migration and such like issues that were militating against the progress and good image of Benin land. <laughs>
Those issues settled, the Amorabane do Kwak Polo soon began to look further afield, building bridges which only he can between the federal government and the Benin Kingdom. He was often at the seat of the federal government, both in the reign of President Buhari as well as President Tinubu. One of his priorities was the final settlement of the return of Benin artifacts from the UK and from the USA, as well as seeking the ears of the federal government in placing Edo indigents in a place of due recognition and status like other ethnic nations within governance circles. And also recently, even after President Buhari left power, he paid him a courtesy call in his hometown, Daura. This, no doubt, could be for the honor of conferring on him the CFRO rank, as well as having appointed him Chancellor of the Open University. Back home, the Ober of Benin has set up, in its magnanimous nature, a foundation to cater for skills acquisition in order to provide capacity and jobs among Benin youths. Oba Ewari the second special liquid soap is our product. We made it. So uh, it's, the, it's His Royal Majesty that has given us uh, this training. As I mandated the uh, Directorate of Employment to give us this sound training. So I really appreciate His Royal Majesty for what he has been doing and what is yet to do to the returning. We really appreciate him. So he has given us a legitimate means of livelihood and he has given him a sustainable job. So I, I, am now, I, I am proud and I am happy that I am now is a, a, a director of a company. The Ogidigan, the Oba of Benin, of this, uh, the Oba of this great kingdom, for this great opportunity he has given to us to acquire these skills. It's not really easy. Most of us, we are actually, we, we have already lose hope, seriously, to be sincere. But the Oba of Benin gave us hope. He drew us nearer. He said, we, we are, you, we, I am your father, you are my children. So, he, and not only that, he promised to do more and more for all the returnees. This training was a wonderful one. In fact, I'm so, 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 so happy. I, this is the first time I'm learning to make liquid soap and I'm so happy. What has not stopped has been the constant dialogue between the monarch and varied groups who come to his palace either to settle disputes or to seek his blessings and wise counsels. Obai Wari has always made himself available to his people in the entire kingdom. Thank you, dear Munoba, for maintaining what he said before. Oba, talk with him. Men and women of our Amagba community, we are here for ta to thank him for his uh, justice. Ah, Munoba, thank you. Oba, talk with him. 
In order to perpetuate the kingdom, its culture and history, the monarch has vigorously pursued a project dear to his heart, the Benin Royal Museum, which would not only house the returned artifacts, but would house and document the rich tapestry of Benin ancient and modern history and artifacts. Since the reign of our royal father, His Majesty, by the II of Gidika, you can testify to the peace in Edo State compared to other states in the Federation. And this is as a result of his efforts of working with government, communities, and even beyond. A lot of time he calls the journalists, rob minds with them, rob minds with security, architecture of both federal and states. And he also advised as regularly as possible. So his reign has been very peaceful and good to the people of federal states. I wish him many many years of rain many many years of peace in Edo state as he celebrates his birthday and installation as the king of Bini kingdom for us as Edo people, we're very thankful to God for the Obas and um, rain so far. The last seven years has been one of peace and stability for Edo people, both at home and ab abroad. So that's um, a testament that um, he's got the grace of God and our ancestors on him. We appreciate the, the, the work that the Oba is doing. What we have seen so far with the involvement of the palace and through His Royal Majesty has been very, very significant in everything we do in Edo State. Um, only last month also, we celebrated the World Tourism Day, another day to mark issues around our, our preserving and restoring our heritage. And again, there was that commitment from the, the His Royal Majesty and the presence of our very high chiefs and any gays. Uh, at the event, which shows again that um, he's very involved in what we do in Edo State. We thank God for his life and all the successes that he has achieved during this seven year period. We're very thankful to have him as our Oba and grateful to God as well. So let me say a big congratulations to His uh, Royal Majesty, Amonoba Nedo Kua Polo Polo, Obaiwari II Nogidika, Amonoba We as Edo people, very proud of you know his achievements so far and the sanity that he has brought to the city or to the state. He has collaborated with the governor in um, eradicating the CDA that was a total menace in the state. But you can see how peaceful we are with that. He has um, you know reignited our culture. You know a lot of our history, our heritage has been forgotten. You can see the celebration of our culture like the Ugie, Ugivie, Udodo and uh, so many other ones that he has done. And above all, I want to say you know, a big thank you to him because he's really opened the doors for us. I revered our uh, king, uh, Monobana do Kua Bolo Bolo, Obaye Rai the second Nogidi Gang, Obaye Tokbe. Uh, he's been uh, a blessing to the kingdom, a blessing to the people, and uh, since he came, uh, to the throne of his forefathers. Uh, we are seen a lot of development in our kingdom. And uh, you can agree with me that uh, before he came, uh, we had a very big issue with uh, people coming in to develop, you know, their, their properties in the kingdom uh, because of uh, what we used to call the Community Development Association. And uh, it was a very big problem, and when he came, he made a pronouncement. And uh, that has become a thing of the past. And uh, that is not just only the, 
we, we were actually, as a people, you know, being labeled or profiled, especially our women, you know, uh, in the area of human trafficking. And again, he made a pronouncement. And uh, since he came on board, he has been leading by example. When you talk about disciplinarian, discipline is what we all need, you know, for a people to grow and a country to grow. And he's been able to instill that in our people in the kingdom. So uh, every single day, as you well know, uh, our revered Oba is the pride of the kingdom of Benin. In addition to that, uh, you can see that uh, it's in this time that uh, the Benin kingdom has been able to, you know, start getting back our artifacts. Uh, you know, this has been great treasure for the kingdom. Uh, we've been working on this since, you know, the time these things are, are, were taken away. So, in this time, it's not just a coincidence that these things are coming back. This is just effort, you know, that he has put into this. And uh, I think that is what uh, the kingdom is happy about. And uh, this is just the beginning. So, we always wish him well. And uh, as one of his chiefs uh, and his subjects, I'm always here, you know, uh, to do everything I have to do for the kingdom. I will first of all want to very warmly congratulate our revered monarch, your monoba, on this great occasion which is double barreled, your birthday and uh, coronation anniversary. I wish you well. I see first and foremost compassionate presence and silent presence of the other. The compassionate presence of the other in the land, in the kingdom people who are hurting, people who are in need, reconciliation, in need of the Father's voice, Father's intervention, fatherly consolation, they go to Him. For me, it's compassionate presence. Whatever we are going through, our Father is going through it with us. Whatever we are going through, good or bad, our Father knows what we are going through. He hears. He sees. He feels for us. And how does that help us? You see healing and growth within the subjects. And then you also see that there is inspiring defense of our cherished values. Values that are now being eroded seriously. He stands for that. His presence to his administration his reign helping to unite us. So I thank God for the defense of our common values, customs, and patrimony. And I thank God for what he stands for among us and what he is to us. I pray that God will grant him more wisdom, length of days, and these days and years pleasing to God, and also divine preservation, good health, both of mind and body. And God will preserve his vital organs and ward off from him the terror of sickness and the terror of death. 
God will continue to preserve him so that we will benefit from his wealth of experience, wisdom, and counsel. And as the monarch moves to his seventh year of reign, the coast of the monarchy is expanding, while at the governmental levels, throughout the seven local governments in the kingdom, newer developments are taking place, peace and tranquility are reigning. The wishes of the then vice president, Professor Yemir Sibangyo, is now being fulfilled, just as we wish the monarch, long may you live, long may you reign. Oba Tokbe, he said. Permit me, Your Royal Majesty, to say a word of prayer for you today as you ascend the coveted throne of your fathers. I pray that this land will prosper in your reign. I pray that the Almighty God will be attentive to all your prayers for this land and that his hand will be upon you to guide you and to direct you daily. Your family and your tribe will increase. Your days will be long. And as for your days, so shall your strength, so shall your wisdom, and your favor with God. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.